Hey guys, this is my Diamond Tool Company Horizontal Mill. It's a uh, Model 20. So I bought this um, quite a few years ago. I was going to restore it, but I got busy making springs. So I converted it over to just making springs nonstop. And I'm since I'm retired, um, I'd like to go ahead and restore it. So I'm going to go over everything on the machine, let you guys see what you think. And uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions, I thoroughly welcome anything you got. Thanks. Here's a uh, shot of the machine tag. Model 20, serial number. I don't know what that is. First off, it's got the original base, which makes it pretty nice. The knee works pretty good. And there's pretty much no slack in it, maybe a thousandth or so. Cross feed. I've got about six thousandths on that, and it seems to work pretty good. It's a little bit beat up, not too bad. Could be worse. You can see some of the dings in it. But overall, they're, they're not that bad that I don't think it's going to affect it much. It's mostly right in here, so we'll see. The uh, tabletop looks pretty rough. It's got lots of little dings. Probably well used. Okay, the, the table feels okay, except there's a real tight spot. It's right. Oh, maybe it's the other way. Okay, so the table has one tight spot. And it's right there. It just locks up. And I'm not going to try pushing it through. So, and then the, uh, the handle actually literally goes, what's that, 170 thousandths play on the handle. That's a lot of distance. So I'll have to take that apart and see what's going on there. I did repack the bearings a couple times. Um, I think I'd like to get them replaced though. Has the overarm, the original chrome nuts, and I've got the Arbor Steadies, which I've got the little short one, and I've got the big one that comes down here onto the knee. On the back here, you can see how the motor is set up. It's basically just sitting on this bolt, and it's pivoting for tension. And obviously, it's not the original motor, and it's got, I think it's a 10 to 1 gear drive or gear reduction. And all this I'd like to get rid of, um, put it back to normal the way it was supposed to be. Unfortunately, I don't have the original two-step pulley or the two-step pulley for the motor. So if any of you guys have any uh, recommendations on the two-step pulley, especially if you know what size it was, 
including the original two-step pulley on the motor. Um, I'd be interested in knowing that. And it has the original motor adjustment here, which works fine. All right, I got, um, I think it's 215 cutters and they're in all different sizes. And a lot of them have been reground to a different shape. You see this one's got like an angle on the side. Just, you know, kind of, kind of ruins them. But some of them are, uh, let's get some nicks out of it. Huh. See that one, they put a, they grooved it. That one feels sharp. This real thin one that's it feels actually dull. Oops. So I did get a lot of these real thin ones. Um, 8 10 and 12 thousandths thick. And I don't know, I think I got about 20 of those. There's some there a little thicker in there. I get some of these. Okay, let's go over here. This is the extra handle I got. Not sure what I'll do with it because I have no idea why that I have two of those. So I got both of these supports and five mandrels. One of them is destroyed. You can see it's like really bad. So I guess I won't be using that one. And I also have this, and I have no idea what it is. However, I know it was on the machine because I set it on the machine and this was just loose enough to slip on. So I'm pretty sure it was on there for something. Hey, if you know what it is, this top piece moves a little and then it's got the screw adjustment but it doesn't do anything it just goes in and out so if you got any idea on that let me know all right guys that's it for uh today uh thanks for tuning in and if you got anything out of this or you didn't <laughs> go ahead and give me a, a thumbs up and uh, feel free to subscribe